The trams in Blackpool are those that survived the greatest cuts during the rise of the car. So how did they do it, and what are the future plans for trams in Blackpool? The first line in Blackpool was opened in 1885, and was one of the first electric tramways in the world, running between Cocker and Dean Street on the Blackpool Promenade, using conduits to deliver electricity via a third rail. This line was operated by the Blackpool Electric Tramway Company until 1892, when the lease expired and was taken over by Blackpool Corporation. The Blackpool Corporation then extended the network with a new line that ran from Manchester Square to South Shore in 1895, which then received an extension to South Pier with a line along Station Road that linked the two separate lines of the network together. While the conduit system had been effective in many other cities and towns across the United Kingdom, the poor weather conditions, thanks to the line being directly along the coast, meant that sand and seawater often caused the system to fail, and therefore they decided that converting the lines to have overhead cabling instead was the correct solution, and the wiring was installed across the system in 1899. Then, in the 1900s, the network received several small additions. In 1900, the line was extended to Gin Square, where it linked with the Blackpool and Fleetwood Tram Road. In 1901, the Marion Loop opened, and in 1902, a line was added from Talbot Square along Talbot Road to Leighton, and by 1903, the Pumlad Line had reached the Pleasure Breach. The system then had no major changes for the foreseeable future, until in 1920. Just after the First World War, the Blackpool and Fleetwood Tramways were taken over by the Blackpool Corporation. The final extension to the tramway was made soon after, in 1926, when a line was opened along the promenade to Clifton Drive at Stargate, which linked the Blackpool Corporation trams with those of Lifford and St Anne's. The end began to come closer and closer to the trams in Blackpool, and closures began in 1936 with the Central Drive and Leighton routes, and these were just a slice of what was come to come next. In the 1960s, as implained in several other videos, the general idea of trams just wasn't compatible, and so in the 60s, the network would contract. In 1961, Lytham Road closed. In 1962, Martin. In 1963, the line to North Station and the Martin and Corps Road depots. And in 1966, the Bisham Depot. This left only the line from Stargate to Fleetwood along the promenade, which would have to fight for its survival. To accomplish this, they had to innovate how they operated. Firstly, one-person operation to keep personnel costs down. Secondly, the introduction of all-over ads on the trams. And they survived. Maybe it was the innovation, maybe the tourism, but they had survived. The view on trams had changed and people realised their effectiveness for urban transit around the dawn of the new century, with new systems being constructed across the UK in places like Manchester and Birmingham. Rolling stock. The network in Blackpool currently hosts two types of tram, the newer and primary fleet of 18 Bombardier Flex 82s and the heritage fleet of trams which vary in size and capacity. So what's next? Construction of an extension of the tramway to Blackpool North Station is underway and is planned to open in summer of next year to provide better transit links between the railway station and the tram network. There have been several proposals to extend the network, but the two main ideas are currently to extend the line south to Lytham St Anne's and an extension to Polton Lee Flyde. The council are currently undergoing a feasibility study for a tram loop which would include both of the lines mentioned. The trams in Blackpool, thanks to their iconic nature and persistence to maintain them when nobody else would, makes them a great case study to demonstrate that even in the most inhospitable weather conditions, and also not in the city, how trams can still be useful and effective. Thanks for watching and have a great day.